In the city of Bangor right now, we're seeing a lot of interest in downtown in particular, which is a project that has been many decades in the process and has been a real focal area for the city. We're also seeing a lot of interest in the area connecting Main Street and downtown and the waterfront, particularly around the uh, new arena which we're building, which is a huge investment by the community and connects a lot of key pieces of our uh, public infrastructure. I think uh, over the last six months, we've seen an increase in activity uh, in all, all sectors, uh, industrial, uh, retail, office, um, I would say investment, um, though um, it's, not that the, uh, it's not that there's enough activity, we're just finding that there's a limited amount of product, if you can believe it. Uh, in real estate right now, the activities seem to be around redevelopment, uh, seem to be around uh, a little bit in the residential, we've seen some movement in the residential. Multifamily continues to be uh, a market source that uh, we see activity in. Um, really, uh, that's about the extent of where we're seeing uh, the market activities. Uh, multifamily, uh, some of the uh, uh, housing redevelopment for uh, subsidized housing, uh, there still seems to be movement in that, although that's a function of a lot of state and federal funding and it's pretty competitive in that market, but that's really where we see it right now. Probably the softest part that we see in Bangor right now is in office. We do have quite a bit of office space available. There is some movement, but there's not a tremendous amount of new uh, economic development activity in office, and we'd like to see some more there and uh, use up some of the available inventory that we have. I think the retail market still has a little ways to go. I think it's getting better. Um, Karen Rich from my office uh, in her presentation was talking about some of the big boxes. There may be some more closures. Um, I would say prim primarily retail and of course industrial in the northern markets, but uh, that seems to be an ongoing thing for the last uh, decade. Uh, the retail side. Uh, at one point, you know, you had this big boom of uh, the retail big box folks. We participated in that in the Walmarts and the Lowe's and all those. And that whole market has stalled. It's obvious that uh, that market has become fairly saturated in this area. We see, uh, you know, just look at what's happened with Lowe's down in Biddeford, up in Ellsworth. Uh, you know, uh, that area is just really slowed down. Any retail we see is reoccupation of existing uh, development sites, so uh, we don't really see a lot going on in the retail side. One of the things that we're really looking for as a shift and that I'm starting to see in the Bangor area is we have a lot of very conservative developers who have been part of the development community in Bangor for a long time. They tend to be smart and buy and hold and not um, really push a lot of activity. Those people are really starting to look around for good value and because those people are now picking up their heads and saying that they're seeing good value and they're making some decisions, for, for me that's a leading indicator that those folks are starting to move and other things are going to start to follow. Well, you know, I, I think it's on multiple levels. I mean, we're dealing with uh, lease and sale transactions on a daily basis, so the overall activity is a key indicator for us. Um, and it's not whether or not if somebody actually secures a transaction, but it's the amount of inquiries that we get, how close we get to securing a deal, um, overall competition. Um, one thing that's a positive sign that we see is that before it would be potentially one broker uh, working on a property uh, and now you've got uh, multiple people competing for space. Um, we find that we're obviously in the old port, we do a lot of retail there, is that the, it's a very healthy environment. So I think on all fronts, you know, we look at activity, um, we do look at deals that actually have um, been secured on a lease and sale basis as well. Uh, you know, we look for uh, private sector uh, exploring new development opportunities, private sector looking to expand housing stock, uh, whether it's multifamily, single family. Uh, we look for uh, the commercial brokers who might be uh, marketing for new development, looking for uh, you know tenants or bringing new people in for expanding those markets. Uh, so we continue to look for uh, those sort of indicators on, on the on the private side. Uh, we also, uh, frankly, look to see, you know, uh, we, we track, within our company, we track um, our revenues by sector, retail sectors, uh, municipal sectors, uh, healthcare sectors, and what we see right now is a decline uh, in all the sectors, or at least they've, they've stayed about the same or reduced a little bit, 
as compared to the municipal market. So as we track those, we look to see that those market sectors begin to recover and grow again, and that the revenues increase in those areas. And I think that over the next year, we're probably going to see very flat growth. Uh, and then looking you know, in the future, I think there's just a lot of pent up need that will then all of a sudden as money becomes available, we'll see modest growth after that.